lovely. Oh, it was just wonderful, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And yeah. good to see them let their hair down as well. It must I have been so much so. stress the last week or so. Brilliant to see them enjoy themselves. Well, we're joined by Royal Superfan Anita Atkinson and former newspaper editor Dawn Neeson here in the studio this morning. Uh, Good to see you both this morning. Uh, I've got to say, Anita, you look the part. <laughs> you look the part. What have you made of this weekend? Oh, absolutely incredible. Probably the best weekend of my life. Oh. oh. What, what were the highlights for you? What were the standout moments? Do you know what the highlight was? Mm. Was the volume of the crowds. Yeah. The volume. I, I could not believe it. I've been to loads of, of royal events and last year, the Queen's funeral, I'd never seen as many people, but this eclipsed it completely. Uh, you know, after everything we, we'd been reading and heard that uh, nobody was interested, 70% of the population weren't going, well, uh, uh, <laughs> the people spoke. Yeah, no, uh, I, I totally agree. Uh, Dawn, what did you make of it all? I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was very positive. I, I think in a constant where we seem to be constantly doing down this country, you know, it's a bad, mad, sad place to be. Um, I thought it was a very positive message to send out across the world mm. that Britain is open for business. We can do it. I mean, you know, as Anita said, we, 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 we do this thing so, so well. And it was and emotional as well, wasn't it? Was it was incredibly emotional. And, you know, I'm, I'm not... I'm, I'm not a, a super fan like Anita here, obviously. <laughs> uh, but I, I just found you found watching bits of it, and it's like, and the bit for me, obviously, so soon after the Queen's funeral, and you've got to remember, we're talking about a family as well as the royals here. Mm. But Charles's face when he was sitting in the Abbey, he must have been thinking that my mum. He must have been thinking yes. about his mum. And I, I think, you know, you know, if you've got a family and you love your family, you, you can't avoid that emotion, can you? So I thought mm. it was very emotional as well, regardless of which side of the fence you're sitting on with the royalist Republican argument, which mm. is starting to get on my nerves slightly. Yes, I don't <laughs> care about that anymore. <laughs> Anita, you were on the mall, weren't you? Did you camp out? Yeah, I got that right. And how was that for you? How long were you there? It was very wet, actually, in the end. <laughs> well, <yes. laughs> No, we went down on the Wednesday, me, me daughter and my eldest daughter with three granddaughters, and we put the, the tent up on Wednesday. But I was dashing about here, there and everywhere. And they were in it. I had a, an old school friend that came down from home to mind me tent because oh. I was keeping the space for all of the others that were coming down from County Durham. You know, people work, the kids were at school, so they had to wait until the Friday. But we had the space. And we had such a good time. Aww. Why, why, Anita? Why the royals? Why the obsession? Oh, that that goes back to us being a little girl. It was uh, me mum used to have memorabilia in the china cabinet from the 1930s. So I think it was her that that you know drew us in with the stories that she told about the 1935 silver jubilee and things. But um, yeah, I've just been like that the whole of my life. But the reason I was here is because I wanted to give physical support to the king so he could see that we support him. Yeah. And he did look moved by that. I mean, when you he look was. at the footage of him on the balcony, it does look as though he's, he seems so grateful for the crowds that came up. Yeah. What do you make of, of King Charles? Oh, I, I can't wait for this new Carolean era, you know. I, I mean, I could have waited a lot longer because I, you know, hugely admired queen. the queen, yeah, yeah but... He's, he's a good man. You know, at the, at the centre of it all, he's a man who cares, mm. and not just about his people, but about the planet as well. Mm. So you've got a good man, a caring man. That'll do me. I thought it was quite interesting. I mean, the, the, the two moments which have really struck me, Dawn, in this were, were, have involved William, actually. Yes. I mean, there was the, 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 the pledge and the kiss at the, at the coronation itself. But this, I have to be honest, I was in bed watching the concert last night. I welled up a little bit at William's did you? speech. I did. Yeah. I surprised myself. It was the height of the concert last night, obviously, at Windsor. Um, you know, you had some great acts performing. I thought Katy Perry did particularly well. She looked just standing slightly like a quality street in that dress. But <laughs> it was, um, and the crowds were there. It, 
it was the highlight, I think, for me as well, Stephen, was when William got up on that stage mm. and made that speech, um, saying that, you know, the Queen would be proud. Mm. And I think that just nailed it. I think that was probably one of the most emotional parts of, of the whole weekend, to be honest with you. Yeah. Um, and it was then great to flash to the family sitting in the stands and see Kate's face. Oh, look, now look at that. There's uh, Sophie so Wessex. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was wow. my highlight. What a mover. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I, I, wasn't that a <laughs> Tell you what, Anita, wasn't that nice? Because do, we didn't see it with the Queen, understandably no. so. But the fact that they were all up dancing, Charles waving his own flag and all, I just yeah. loved that. It was, uh, I was even saying that to my family. I was saying this wouldn't have happened with the Queen. No. You know, we've had concerts, but not with the family. Not, not like know, that. Taking part like that. It was absolutely incredible. And my family were dancing on the sofa. My granddaughters were dancing, my daughter was dancing. Uh -huh. <laughs> what did you make of, of uh, the Prince of Wales' speech to it, his father? It, well, like Dawn said, it, it, it brought a, like a lump to my throat when he got to the bit about his grandmother watching. Mm. Mm. And I thought, yeah, yeah, mm. I firmly believe that. Mm. Yeah. He said everything he needed to say Absolutely. at that moment, didn't he? And mm -hmm. it was very public approval, public support for his father, who we know he hasn't always had the easiest relationship with. No, quite. I mean, you know, it is, it is no secret that, you know, that they haven't always seen eye to eye. And I think, obviously, the whole issue with, 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 with Harry has brought them closer together. So I think for him to stand on stage, it, he did it incredibly well. It must have been quite hard for him to do as well. He um, seemed very relaxed, though, mm. didn't he, he? I thought he did really well. He mm. did, yeah, he did seem very relaxed, I mean, yeah. considering some of the names that were on that stage yeah. as well. Um, but the, I think one of the the funniest bits was uh, um, Prince Edward, who can... <laughs> what, what's his new title now? I can't Duke keep of it. Duke of Edinburgh. <laughs> Duke of Edinburgh. Sitting there with Kermit. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's like OK. And then, but little, uh, um, uh, little Charlotte laughing hilariously at Miss Piggy as well. Yeah. I mean, and as Anita said, you wouldn't have got that with the Queen. And I think no. Charles was always pledged to bring in a new... Down to earth yeah. monarchy as much as they can be, mm -hmm. and I think with Sophie Booth, what a mover as well. Oh, she's yeah. dancing, yeah. That, yeah. And, and, and Miss Piggy and Kermit on the royal balcony, yeah. the, uh, the coronet, you know, the party. Yeah. Watching was just, you know, can you imagine I, the Queen with Kermit? No, no, I, I do think that was. I tell you what struck me though, um, it was um, after William's speech, and we had the national anthem. Mm -hmm. The King stood up. Yes, I know. Now, that must be muscle yeah. memory, isn't it? He yeah. hears it, he thinks yeah. he has to stand. Yes. Yeah. But I just right, thought, yeah. isn't that funny? I bet, he, I bet that never happens well, again. Well, I, I would think that he would stand, uh, because, the, you know, the Queen, everyone stands for the national anthem. But um, it was just... I was waiting. I was, I was watching Camilla singing. Uh, he, he, he no longer sings. No. But um, where he did for his mother. Yeah. But it, it was great. I mean... Uh, Mike and Zara Tyndall, they were up dancing first. <laughs> they, well, they, they, were, they were having such a good time. Yeah. The, the, the night before the, uh, um, the actual coronation, they were out until 2 a.m. partying, <laughs> Mike and Zara. Were they? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dirty oh, stop they outs. love it, don't they? Yeah, they're party Dirty animals. Dirty stop they outs. Anita, you picked up some memorabilia, didn't you? Because, of course, people want to remember this moment in history. And you, you've picked up some special mementos. Well, I have. These, uh, the things I've brought in are the things that uh, mostly that other people people have given us there yeah. oh, well, this, this week. Lift it up to the camera here. Right, so well... What's this one? Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Well, he is a, he is a badge. It's a coronation badge. Mm. And I was given that by an American royalist. Ah. Who, she, came, she comes every time to royal events and I always meet up with her, Donna. And, uh, and she had that waiting for us, so she'd bought that. Um, when we were coming back from the coronation, we were... <laughs> trying to find a bus because all the roads were closed. Oh, yeah. And uh, a policewoman stopped because we had the, the granddaughters with us and she was giving badges away. And Can I have a badge? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so a, a policewoman in the street gives these... This badge. Lovely. What's what's oh. the um, what's the glossy brochure thing there? This is the programme. Oh, the actual official programme. This is the programme that you could only buy there. And I had a oh. message from a friend at home. I'd already bought one. but I'd, Well, my daughter bought us one. And I had a message from a friend saying, can you get us one of those programmes? So I went to get it, put it in my bag, then it poured down. Yeah. So it's a bit damp, Christine, <laughs> but <laughs> it's coming back home. It's a bit damp. Oh, lovely. It's and... wonderful. Great picture on the front there. It's yeah. beautiful. So I, I have to say, I'm sorry about this, but I nicked this. Uh, oh! 
<laughs> Anita. <laughs> Where'd you nick it from? Let's celebrate for the king's... Oh, yeah, lovely. well, it was a supermarket. <laughs> 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 well, they had loads, and I thought, you're going to throw them in the bin, so I might just have that one. Oh, well, I'm sure they won't so, mind. Because that is, a, that is a very important piece of royal memorabilia. In 20, 30, 40 years' time, I might not be here, but that, it'll, you know, for my granddaughters, who I'm leaving my collection to... That's a good piece of royal memorabilia because yeah. it's disposable. Yeah. Disposable. And where is your best. collection, Anita? Have you got it at home? Yeah, well, I live on a farm and uh, I have it in an old dairy. So it's a, an old dairy barn and, and it completely fills it and it overflowed into the old piggery where I've now got a royal library where I do my research. Oh, right. And 1,500 books, 3,500 newspapers and magazines, Dawn. I'm, I'm well impressed. Just get the newspaper industry going single handedly. Is your husband a fan? No. Oh, he uh, liked, uh, no. <laughs> In fact, what he did say was, can you get this rubbish out the house and you can have the old dairy? So that's how I come to get it, because he was sick of the house being full of stuff. All right. Oh, well. <laughs> Never mind. It's loss. It's loss, Anita. We might have to send a camera up your way to have a film of all this. I was about to say. Um, yeah. Really good to see you, Anita. Thank you. Thank